Look, we have our own branded water bottle now. Ooh, it's almost like we're a real gym now. <laughs> Let's go work out. Hello there, good looking. Hey, are you ready? This workout rocks. Okay, here's the scoop. We're gonna start out with strength and then we're gonna move into a ladder workout to lift the booty and then we're moving into a cardio drill. Fantastic, yes? Yes. So you will need a pair of heavy dumbbells that we can chest press and that we can row and that we can squat and then you'll need a pair of lighter, moderate dumbbells that you can bicep curl. So go grab them, because we're gonna be a bit busy. All right, I want you to find your center. So feet evenly, hip width apart, equal amount of weight on each leg, and lift up and rotate. So we want big arm swings, but we're not letting the core go all loosey-goosey, okay? We're keeping it tight, baby. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is PJ, and hey, you're gonna go through a workout, so, you know, sorry, <laughs> you're just gonna have to do it. And we're gonna have a good time. I'm gonna warm you up, work you out, and cool you down. So don't worry, I got you covered. Last four, and three, two, and one. Excellent, now bring those arms out, extend them towards me for me. Feet keep those hip width apart, push the bum back all the way down into the squat, and then lift up, do it again. Now do me a favor, take a look at those kneecaps of yours. You want them tracking straight ahead, so they're not going out, and they're not coming in, which will be a more common issue, especially if you're a woman. So use those outer hip muscles. Almost pretend that you're standing on a piece of newspaper and you're trying to tear it apart. I heard that cue from an amazing instructor that I had the opportunity to sit in on last weekend, and that's a cue she gave. Well, I didn't sit in on, I worked my ass off, but anyway, that's the cue, and it's gonna fire up that outer hip muscle to keep those knees tracking. Now your bum is shooting rearward, neutral spine, all that good stuff. Keep those arms out. Don't let them go. They're here for a reason. Last four and three, two, one more. One, feet together, give me a side lunge. Good, now pause it here, touch the toe with the opposite hand. Feet together, do it again. Excellent, here we go. Waking up that inner thigh there. I'm already out of breath. What the hell? Can you hear me hopping and popping? Sound like I'm 100 years old over here. Sometimes I feel 100 years old. Oh man. Last three. Two, one more. One, excellent. All right, here we go, other leg, go. Push your hips rearward. And that's important, all right? We don't want those knees, this knee here, shooting past. Excellent, reach across two, touch the ground. Last four, three, two, one more. One, all right, here we go. Feet together, arms are going right up, jumping jack. If you don't like jumping, totally get it. You're gonna go side to side but be crisp with the movement. I've seen a lot of very interesting modified jumping jacks in my time, so I want you to pretend that, hey, pretend I'm filming you for a YouTube workout. Make it crisp, keep it tight, make it pretty. Excellent, you got it. Chest lifted, those of you that have joined me on the impact, hands touch above the head, yes? Yes, arms go up, legs go wide, land soft. Total body warm up right here. And you know what? If it feels like you're gonna pee your pants, tighten up the core. Ten more seconds. And release. All right, shake it out, you. Grab your heavy dumbbells. We're gonna start out with the chest press on the mat. Now we're just gonna take the good times from there. So we have 40 seconds. Four zero on the clock. We're gonna kick the crap out of the chest and triceps and shoulders, then the legs, glutes, and hamstrings, 
and then up to the back, biceps and rear delts, and then do it all over again. So, heavy dumbbells. Get yourself in a bridge position. Those of you that have been with me before, you know I like this move with the chest press because it gets our core and our glutes involved. So bridge up, elbows lined up with the shoulders, and then wrists over elbows. From there, we press straight up. Deal? Deal. All right, ready? Get yourself set. Bum up. Good. And press. Now press to the hands end above the chest, not the head. Extend the arms fully. And then don't forget about that booty. Hey, push through those heels. Lift those hips up. Take no prisoners. Now we're flipping over into a slow controlled push up next. It's gonna be pretty awesome, so hang in there. I'll teach you through when we get there. And breathe. <laughs> Please don't forget. Tie. All right, let's place those dumbbells off to the side. We're not gonna need them for a little bit. Now, on the knees, I don't, just start on the knees, even for you strong off from the toes push up people. Wrists underneath the shoulders. Now take the elbows and tighten them in. So it's almost like you're twisting uh, some, some, say, a jar or something on your hands. What it would be, a jar of pickles? I don't know. Twist it. Excellent. Now slowly lower your chest down so your hips stay elevated slightly. Come down, elbows brushed by the rib cage, and then press back right up. All right, let's try it again. Core goes with you, so your bum's not staying in a different postal code. But we want the chest to come down. It's not the belly that drops to the floor. That I see common. Now look slightly ahead of you. So the neck is long. Oh yeah, time. See, that wasn't that bad, was it? All right, now grab one hammy for me. Just one, okay? Take it end to end, straighten the arms completely. This bothers your knees, by all means stand. Now drop the dumbbell, or I should say bend your elbows so the dumbbell comes behind the head and straighten. So please don't drop the dumbbell. Now we're taking this slow and controlled again. Why? Because if we go slow, we get more muscle fibers involved. We get more muscle fibers, we see better results. Sweet! And I'm just taking a gander that you uh, are doing this workout for results, yes? <laughs> Great job. So you want to feel the back of your upper arms. Now you've got those lighter dumbbells beside you if you need to switch out, okay? Done. Come on up. Now grab onto a pair of dumbbells, heavy or moderate, wherever you're at. Feet hip width apart, we're going to start with a squat. Now just about one foot in front of you, I want you to pretend there's a wall. So what you don't want to do is hit the wall. So what happens sometimes when people squat is they do that. They bend and hinge through the hip. All right, you'd be whacking yourself on that wall. Keep the chest lifted, drop down, drive up. Awesome. I know, so many rules, right? But hey, I want to train you right. Push the bum back. It's like you're sitting in a chair. Quite frankly, that chair will never be there, but it's like you are. One more for me. All right, keep those dumbbells. Now we're stepping rear with the left foot. Drop the knee as close to the ground as you can, feet together, now the right foot. Alternating lunge. Here's a scoop, keep going. If lunges bother your legs or your knees, go on to your back and give me bridges. This is my go-to move for people who really don't like lunging for your knees. All right, so you choose, all right? There's no excuses. I can keep you moving. Now we're taking ourselves down to a straight arm plank for our next move, and I'm gonna talk you through it. It's gonna be a little slow and controlled as well. One more leg. Good job, take her down. Dumbbells off to the side. All right, I'm gonna talk you through it so you can go with me. Wrists under the shoulders. Okay, now tighten up those jars of pickles. Bring the elbows so the pointed towards the toes. Press into the ground and jump the feet up. And stand, good. Now bend the knees, tighten up those pickles, and jump back. You ready? Push. 
Jump up, so slow it down. Bend your knees, hands to the ground, right in between the legs. Jump back, so not in front of you. I want them in between the feet. Why? Because it makes you bend your knees more and train you harder. Die. Wasn't that bad though? Good job. All right, heavy dumbbells. We're gonna go into a forward fold position. So I want you to pretend that you have a counter just right at that top of the leg and that's what we hinge over, okay? So nothing in the back. Pull up, squeeze the shoulder blades, and release. You got it. So no rounding that back. That countertop ends just at the top of the thigh and that's what we're folding over. We have one more move of this circuit and then we're gonna take it again from the top. Oh wait, no, we have two more moves. Man, I know, I'm notorious for missing moves. My apologies. One more. Time. Dumbbells down. Back in that plank for me, okay? Tuck those elbows, all right? Wrist right underneath the shoulders. Now roll those elbows. Now push the ground away around the shoulder blades. Nothing else moves. Now let the shoulder blades come together. Good. Push away. So it's a small move. Excellent. From bra strap down stays the same. It's just your shoulder blades spreading, coming together. Protract. Retract. Shoulders stay down. They're not coming up to the earlobes. Working mid-back here in addition to your core. So protract, retract. Good. Almost there. And then we're grabbing those lighter dumbbells. Fingers are wide. One more. Top. All right. Grab the lighter dumbbells. Palms facing me. Nice and tall on the spine. Curl up. Slowly straighten. Good job. When we straighten, fully extended arm. Oh yeah. All right, we go back to chest press with the heavy dumbbells when the timer goes. So that's back down on the ground, bum up in a bridge, pressing those dumbbells above the chest. Don't worry about water break. You'll get it later. <laughs> Trust me, one more round, then you can have a water break. One more, and release. All right, grab those heavies. Take yourself down. Feet close to the bum, hip width apart, drive the hips up. Elbows in short line with the shoulders, wrists over the elbows. Once you have that, you're ready. Begin the move. So set yourself up for success with those little cues before you start moving your dumbbells. It's a lot easier to get yourself in good form and set before you start moving the old limbs. Rolling over onto those slow push-ups coming up. I was about to say slow biceps, but we just did those. One more. Top. All right. So, wrists underneath the shoulders, okay? Bum down. Tighten that jar of pickles. Now, slowly lower down. Chest going before the hips. And then push. So, take your lowering slower than your press up. Three, two, one. Press. Good. Elbows going towards the back of your room there. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Looking like a little grasshopper on that bottom part. Look forward slightly. Good job, almost there. Yeah, you got this, trust me. Trust me. Oh, time. All right, grab your heavy. Kneeling or standing if that bothers your knees. Extend your arms straight up. If you're standing, really engage that core. Bend the elbows, bring the dumbbells so you can get it right behind the neck and then straighten. Oh, this feels extra special, doesn't it? <laughs> so here's the scoop. The triceps, this muscle we're working right now, just assisted us on the last two moves. 
So it's what we call pre-fatigued. That's why it's screaming at you. But it's a good scream, because at the end of the day, it will then go, ha, ah, and be stronger. Here you go. Basic physiology 101. <laughs> Grabbing our other dumbbell for some squats. One more, release. Woo. All right, grab the dumbbells. Feet hip width apart, okay? Pretend you have that wall right in front of you. Now bend through the knees and then hinge through the hips. So the knees start the action. Drop the bum down. Excellent. If you're fatigued or you need to modify, get rid of the dumbbells or just hold on to one. So hold on to it with both hands in front. Moving on to our alternating lunges next. One more. Time. All right, drop. Shoulders back and down. Here we go. Give me some space between the ears and the shoulders. Step back, lunge back, feet together. This doesn't work for the knees. Remember, you're on your mat, driving the hips up for a bridge. Yeah, so the studio, we just got a new supply of water bottles, swell bottles, so they keep your cold cool and your hot hot as well as new tanks. What else did we get? Oh, baseball hats. One more. Time. All right, squat thrust. Start in that plank position. Wrists underneath the elbows. Elbows tightened in. Now push into the hands and jump the feet right beside the pinkies and stand. If you can't jump, step them back. Bend, hands in between the feet, not in front. Jump back. Do it again. So it's bending through the knees, you guys. nice and long. So while we lift the dumbbells up to pay attention, are you able to bring the shoulder blades together? And hey, how are those shoulders? Are they coming up to the earlobes? We don't want that. We don't want to feed that muscle group. We want to feed the muscles in between the back, in between the shoulder blades there, mid back. And then core, right? You might feel your low back a bit, tighten up that core. Pretend you're stopping your pee. One more. And release. All right, protract, retract. So core move, wrist under the shoulders, super duper important. Good, pull those elbows in, fingers wide. Now push the ground away, round the shoulder blades, and now bring the shoulder blades together. Everything from the bra strap down stays. So this isn't through the hips, this is all through the shoulders. Round, together. Pull apart, together. Good. Top. All right, lighter dumbbells, bicep curls. This time we're doing a hammer curl. Palms are facing you, nice and tall in the spine. Keep the palms facing each other as you curl up towards the shoulders and fully extend that arm. Nice. Hammer curl. So we're gonna quick water break after this. We're gonna move on to a ladder drill. We're gonna wake up those glutes some more.
One more. And release. Woo! All right, grab a sip of water. Now, you can have a bridge in the same way we did the chest press, okay? So with your feet on the ground, hip width apart, or even better, I want you to find a chair or maybe your coffee, coffee room, um, dining room table, what, or coffee table, so not too high, sorry. Or, in my case, I'm gonna use the wall, and that's where we're gonna position the feet. We're performing ladder, starting at 10 reps, working our way down to one rep of a bridge pattern on my count, okay? So, I want you to find something. If you gotta push pause and go grab it, go for it. But, essentially, you want your feet about in line with the knees, knees in line with the hips. So I find on an edge of a chair the best or the edge of my coffee table or a wall. All right, palms up, shoulders back and down. Now drive the hips up as high as you can. And that's 10, nine, squeeze the glutes, eight, seven, keep those knees hip width apart, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Readjust if you might have scooted back a bit. Here we go. Nine reps. Go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, rest it, walk yourself in. You might have pushed yourself away again. Here we go, and eight, seven, six, five, four, feel those glutes? Yeah, baby, three, two, one, whoo. All right, you ready? We're on six, ready, and six, five, four, Three, two, one, whoo, rest and let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, rest and let's go. Four, three, two, one, whoa, Lordy, this is great. Love it. Ready? And three. <laughs> two. How you doing at home? One. We're almost home. Ready? And two. One. Two. Right here. Lift and hold. Go. Woo. We're lifting. We're holding. Oh, oh. My God. The burn is incredible. This is awesome. I want you to hang in there. Okay? I'm feeling it too. Together. We're not going to quit. We got this. We got this. Bum up, hips up, lift up, reach up. Oh, baby. The things we'll do for a perky rear end, huh? We are so close, baby cakes. Last 15 seconds. Breathe. Don't stop, don't stop. I know, I want to drop two, but we're not going to. Time says five seconds, we can do five seconds. Almost home, and release. Oh. Pull those knees in towards your hips. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was good. Good job. All right, come on up. We're moving on to the next phase of the workout. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Whoa. I'm going to change the timer. Whew. Because we're down to 30 seconds. We're moving on to some cardio baby kicks. So the next round, we have six exercises, 30 seconds, four rounds. Every second exercise is a mountain climber or on the second round, a jumping jack. And we're gonna alternate like that, okay? Okay, so grab a set. Starting out with a squat. Fingers are light behind the ears. We're gonna add a twist with that. So let's start out with success here. Fingers light behind the ears. Pull the elbows back. Now, without moving the head, I want you to look in your peripheral. Can you see your elbows? If you can, pull them behind you a bit more. We're going to keep the elbows there. 
add in a squat, and then when we come up, we're gonna twist towards that knee that lifts. And then the other side. So squat, twist, squat, twist. Ready? Big smiles, let's go. Squat, twist. The squat feels extra special after all those damn bridges. So what we just did with those bridges really worked up and woke up our booty, which is great news. Because the glutes tend to be weak on a lot of us, which can cause a lot of issues from core, low back, even the knee problems. So we need to keep the booty strong. One more time. All right, we're going into a mountain climber, but we're gonna do it slow and controlled. Wrists under the shoulders, that is super important. All right, your fingertips are not ahead. Pull your elbows in, spread your fingers wide. Pull the left knee in, keep the left foot off. Release, right knee in, excellent. Now, if you can speed it up, go for it, but nothing else changes in this move. So I actually want this to be slower. It's harder, slower, so we're doing it right. Are those wrists still under the shoulders? Don't let yourself fall back or behind like this, or pike your bum up. Done. No, 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 no. All right, with your right knee, I want you to step back with the right leg, get into a lunge. All right, now lunge, bring the right knee up, and kick. Do it again. Lunge, kick. So start with the knee, and then you extend. So knee, extend. I'm trying to figure out what to do with my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them up, fighter's position. Drive to that right heel. Press it. Woo, I have no balance. Time. Before we do the other leg, mountain climbers again. Super strict, super slow. Wrists under the shoulders. Pull the elbows towards the back. Back of the neck long. Drive. Drive. Good. You can maintain the form, then by all means, you can go a little faster. Just a little faster. Nice and slow. Good job. Keep it going. Coming up, doing a lunge with that other leg. Get ready. Nice and tall. In a few seconds. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Time. All right. Other leg back. Okay, arms in fighter position. We're gonna lunge. Ready? Lunge. Now knee up and kick. Yes. Woo. You got it. So we got one more mountain climber, and then guess what? <laughs> We's doing it again. Time, all right, mountain climber, you keep going. I gotta go lock the front door. People are coming in. <laughs> keep going. Wrist underneath the shoulders. <laughs> Wrist underneath the shoulders. Nice and long in the spine and in, in. Woo wee! How's that back of the neck? Is it long? Hope so. Get those ears away from those shoulders. Woo! Almost there. Time. All right, from the top, round two, squat tip, twist. Elbows back, feet a little wider than the hips. Squat rear, twist, squat, twist. All right, so now whatever was a mountain climber turns into a jumping jack. Breathe. So all I need you is breathing and I can train you. <laughs> One more, time. All right, jumping jacks. Just like we did in warm up, or you can take it low impact. Just be crisp with your move. All ready, yep. Good, land soft as well. I don't want you to sound like a herd of elephants, okay? Takes more muscle control 
and it's easier on the knees if you control your jumping pattern. Lunging kick coming up. that we work in. One more, time. Jumping jack before we do the other leg. Feet together, shoulders back and down. Big smile, go. Got the other leg, lunging kick coming up. Woo! Done. Woo! Bravo. All right, left leg back. Those fighter arms. Yeah? We're lean, we're mean, we're going. Woo! So I'm teaching a big workout tomorrow night. It's a charity workout at a local farm, actually. Really cool farm we've got on Western Island. Emily, shout out to my buddies at Emily Farms. And me and another instructor, we have 150 people we're teaching to. That'll be the largest class I've ever taught. It's gonna be so effing awesome, I can't wait. Dime. Jumping jack, it's gonna be truly spectacular. Ready, and go. We got a DJ, oh my goodness. We got a whole bunch of local businesses set up, giving away stuff. And then 60 minutes of sweat. All right, going into round three after this. So these jumping jacks are gonna turn back into mountain climbers. Time. All right, feet just a bit wider than your hips, okay? So shoulder width would be a great way to describe that. Elbows back, squat, twist. Needless to say, for 150 people, <laughs> I did rent a mic. Because <laughs> I do have a loud voice, however. I don't think I would have one left after screaming cues for 150 people. <laughs> Done. All right, back to our mountain climbers. So straight form. All right. Wrists under the shoulders, fingers wide. Turn the elbows so they're pointed towards your toes. Left foot, right foot. Stay strong. Don't move anything else. If you can maintain that, then speed it up. Neck long. Die. Woo. Shake that one up. Right leg lunge. Fighter arms. Lunge, kick, go. Coming up. 
time. All right, mountain climbers, then we'll do the other leg. Wrist under the shoulders. Walk those elbows. Neck long. Nice long spot. Hey, if you want to just stay here and hold a plank, go for it. Because you're still training a lot of muscles. You choose what's your perfect right now. Because I want this to be perfect. Woo! I'm spewing here. Or as close to perfect. How about pretty? It's probably a better word. Word perfect. Yeah, it's really unattainable. So make the move pretty. So pretty. Look at my pretty move. Time. Woo. I think I'm getting delirious. I'm gonna lay back. Yeah, I hope you are too. Here we go. Drop down, lunge down, kick up. Woo. Yeah. I tell you, you gotta be a little crazy to be in a big old room by yourself with a camera on talking to it. <laughs> and then wondering, is anyone gonna listen? <laughs> ah, hey, I, we got a good little community of fitness and PJ. So thank you for joining it and for hanging with me. I appreciate it. Time. Whew. Mountain climbers, it's your last time because the next round we change them into jumping jacks. Yeah, sorry, we got one more round. Four rounds, almost there. Now, it's our last round. It's like the downhill part of the hill. It's the best part. You don't want to miss out on the downhill. You worked your butt to get on the uphill. So let's enjoy that downhill. Jumping jacks coming up. One more. Done. Woo. Way to pump out that last one. I'm proud of you. Feet together, arms down by your side. Go. Land soft. Pretend, if you don't, that you live in an apartment building and you got someone living underneath you that you like. So you want to land soft. You don't want to clump. If you don't like them, it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> nah, be nice to your neighbors. Done. Woo. All right, right leg. Lunge kick. Elbows in. Game face is on. Go. It is so nice to have good neighbors, though. We have fantastic neighbors. I think I've if you've watched my shows, you know that my neighbor is so fantastic. He even mows our lawn for us. <laughs> Done. Jumping jacks before the other side. Feet together, drop to that spine. I know you're getting tired, but we're not getting sloppy. We're keeping it pretty, remember? Go.
One more. Done. Woo. All right, last set of jumping jacks. Let's do it. We are almost there. I want you to sing whatever anthem is coming to your head right now. Woo! That new song, Feel the Thunder by Magic Dragons going through my head. We love that song. I'll spare you though and won't sing it. I just wouldn't be nice to you. Done! High five. All right, grab some water. Hey, don't leave me yet, okay? We still gotta stretch you out. So walk it out, don't sit, no sitting. Walk it out, let the heart rates come down. So, I taught a variation of this to my classes this morning. Whew, it's a good one, huh? All right, let's start with the quad stretch. Bring your heel up, pull your knee back, and then squeeze the hips forward. It's gonna enhance that quadriceps stretch. Find your balance. If you can't, hang on to something or someone. Ah, just let that breathing come down. And try to get that breathing out of the chest. Yeah, we do that, don't we? <gasps> try to get it right into the belly. Now take this leg, step in a good stride behind you and stay off the heel and then sink the bum down. Tilt the tailbone under, so really engage that back glute to release through the hip flexor there. Take that same side arm, bring it across the body, thumb up, press in and hold. I highly recommend if you haven't already, taking a yoga class. They emphasize a lot on breathing and it will help you. It will help you when you're feeling stressed, when you're walking, when you're working out, and to help calm you down. Release. Excellent. Bring that other leg, heel up to the bum, knee lines up with the hip, and then squeeze the hips. I love this stretch. Now up into your hip flexor, step back. So you're off of that back heel. Bend your back knee and that front knee, tilt the tailbone, and then squeeze that back glute. You got that? So if we contract one muscle group, the other one has to release. Hey, cool, right? Now take the arm across, thumb up, press in. If you need more of a stretch, I get it, because <laughs> I'm super tight. I've got a few stretch workouts on the YouTube channel, so head to the home page there, check them out, and I'll be recording more as we go as well. And release into the hamstrings, inhale the arms up, extend the spine, exhale, swan dive down, fingertips to the ground, and hold. Ah. Just let it all hang your head, give it a shake. Release any tension in the mouth and eyes. And now bend the elbows and just cradle the elbows with each hand and just hold. Release. Slowly roll it up. Hey, hey, hey! Well done, you. Hey, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. There's a little button below and I will drop into your inbox every time I release a video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Well, that was pretty super duper awesome. Hope you enjoyed it.